After some time when your life your life has been kind of quiet for a while with not many changes, yeah. suddenly you're going to have great fortune. Really? Uh-huh. Cool. That's it. That's it? Thank yep. you. Yeah. All right, I see a picture. I see a, a 1930s costume, clothes. It looks Jewish by heritage with a young generation behind them. And um, I think of a Paul Foss and the Wailing Wall. They're not exactly two different locations when you look at it from the heart. Be it Auschwitz or Solomon's Temple, the Wailing Wall. It's, it's a younger generation with 1960s clothing attire. Uh -huh. It's not like the 1930s. It looks like someone who just survived the Holocaust. You know? Like it just right. came out of Auschwitz. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. But the background is a generation before him. Socrates may seem like the children generated, but be it the Wailing Wall or Auschwitz, it says a lot. It's like the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall, the Wailing Wall, Auschwitz. It's not three different walls, it's all one. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's great, I really appreciate be that. Be in this world, be not of this world. That's a scripture that got me in the heart. Because most of our churches are pagan versions of what our kings, queens, monks want us to believe. Michelangelo is in Leo Dimitri. Did you know that he was a Rosh Christian? No, I had no idea. Masonic Rosh Distant relatives of the Rothschilds who financed Columbus to the real world. The Spanish had more greater financial support in the Roman Catholic Church than our pagan alien like Queen Elizabeth and George Bush and Roosevelt and Rockefeller, yeah. the Vespa, white Anglo-Saxon Protestantist, Vespa and Italiano. Because Italianos are a bunch of mongrel bastard aristocratic children from They're Turkey. Mongols. But the arts, the Egyptians and Babylonians, says a lot about the culture, about the face, about the heritage. That's how I see it. Yeah. And it, but you being an artist, we can hear and be a photographer. They said, anyone can take a picture, it's not art. But true art by our drawer, like Michelangelo, Nina Arnold, Nefertiri, whatever, it's from the heart. Right. You look, no matter what own, you use. Your own inequities. A picture says a thousand words. Cool. So what inspired you to do art? Dysfunctional home, drunken mother, drunken father, incest, what? But you look at your own inequities, you can really clean the heart. If you be in this world, be not of this world, artificial flavor, artificial color, artificial preservatives, additives, you are what you eat. You eat the bread of life. Give the penny back to me. have a lot of life energy, I guess. Okay, if you focus your life energy on the penny, and then give the penny back to me. Okay. Okay. Somewhere like a year from now, you're you're gonna you're gonna meet someone who's who's gonna bring you great fortune. Uh -huh. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's good. Oui. Yeah. Merci, non, merci. Bon, it's beau. Uh, beautiful? No, not beautiful. Oui. <laughs> merci. Uh, I speak English. Thank you. All right. <laughs> la, la carte, what? One dollar? Uh, 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 She's wondering. She's wondering. Wondering? Yeah. What, what is, what is, Combien? Oh, uh, one dollar. Yeah. Oui. One dollar. Okay. Si. One dollar. Yeah. Oui. She's wondering how much money it was. Every single one of those is one dollar. Uh-huh. So if I bought all of them, it would be like, uh, one hundred dollars? Probably, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meant a whole pack. Je demande lui, je peux prendre là-dedans? They're they're always one they're always one dollar um, uh, each. Um, uh, non mais j'ai compris uh, j'ai compris que c'était un dollar. Oui, <laughs> j'ai compris. Um, I understand French, but I don't. Don't don't speak it. Gabriel. He's the, she's just taking them all out so she can just look at them through. That's good. Bah moi je trouve très joli alors. Ah tu tu prends tout ce que.
What is it? It's an alley uh, woven bottle. Did, did uh, you? Pre World War II. Uh huh. Um, and it's worth uh, from uh, eight to ten thousand. You're kidding. And I gotta sell it. Uh huh. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay. There's going to be a time in your life when a lot is happening and you'll be, uh, you'll have trouble deciding between two things and if you change your, your mind at the last minute, it can lead to great fortune. That's it. Thank you. You bet, you bet. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot, thanks. Focus your life energy on the penny and then give the penny back to me. Just look at it. Imagine like an energy. Field. I know, but you want me to close my hand or leave That'd it That'd be open. great, yeah, close your hand. Okay, there's going to be something, uh, there's going to be a decision in your life. Um, there's going to be something you'll want to do in your life. And there's going to be some important people in your life that will uh, try to uh, uh, talk you out of it. You should do it. You should do it anyway. It'll, it'll lead to great fortune. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. You bet. All right, have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> You had another one. Do you build bikes? I had another one here last week. Huh? Last week, yeah. 